ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode 8 of my Paradox uh, Mega Campaign. And we're at 11.55, so let's get going. And first thing out of the gate, my steward is dead. Get to work. Gotta keep the tech flowing in. Sixty percent, sixty-seven percent. They're they're fighting so much their decadence is going down. I was, however, kind of hoping the HRE would, you know, step in and attack the Fatimids. These, and try and you know take maybe a Puglia from them or something, which would likely end in a grand scale invasion of Africa, when which I could totally bum a duchy or two off of. Take my way up to Aswan. <clears throat> I need to take the Duchy of Arabia, the Duchy of Sinai, and Egypt. So that way I, you know, loop around the sea and control it entirely. Which has no real strategic use other than the fact, because they can't sail through it or anything. Other than the fact it kind of is awesome. <laughs> And one of the key points I want to hold are these provinces for Victoria, too. So that way I can build the Suez. Something I have to consider down the road as well. And I think the only colony I'm going to take in the New World is try and get Colombia. The Duke of Medina? What is wrong with him now? Short reign is going down, though. My god. I haven't done anything wrong. Uh, I'm gonna make it just so landed priests are exempt from taxes. King Constantine of Russ. Yeah, he doesn't exactly come and help me though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, no. But marrying into the Byzantine Empire, even if it will go through in quite some time, will prove useful, I'm sure. And since my old alliance has kind of expired. There we go. Laws of the reduced church taxes since I have almost no taxation on anybody now. Because I'm more or less rich enough. Might as well start building like a training grounds here. Upgrade the castle dungeon. Improve that, and improve that. Speaking of which, yeah, I've got the cathedral school there. So yeah, landed priests exempt from taxes, excellent. The Medinan Holy War for Neford. Alright. I'm okay with that. Means he's gonna be occupied doing other things, and he can't call me into it. So, you know, I mean, at worst, he's going to, what, expand my realm? Also means all my other vassals go and fight, and weaken themselves. Making revolts for a little while. A little trickier. Yeah. I guess my vassals can kind of just expand for me. While I go for Oman. Huh. 
Hmm. Only war for Oman. <laughs> Gee, thanks, honey. God, why do I pick the worst wives? <laughs> Again, I'm probably just going to only use my uh, personal levy since it doesn't look like they're going to be able to exactly get too many troops down here to stop me. That should, yep, yeah, there you go. And what do you know? It worked. He got a whole new province for me. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Medina now, 4%. What? Canada. And your plot. If he does revolt, then I just claim that title and give it to somebody else and have a count vassal until I can establish that duchy as my own. Seems like the best way of doing things like that. And there we go. Now the siege can actually begin. Castle infrastructure progress in Gondor. I like that. 1.3, mm-hmm. Improved keep, 0 0.8, and town structure, 0 0.5, all right. So yeah, I shouldn't have to do much beyond taking these two one provinces, or these, these two one provinces, these two provinces. And then I should get that. And then I guess I can strike Hamadan. I mean, like I said, the Seljuks can't do anything to me right here. I am theoretically safe. Although it worries me that I'm their only target. Like, if, say, these guys join in, or even him, him alone would be enough. I can find someone better, a.k.a. myself. Educate child. The crown prince must be educated by the king. As I'm sure it's written in some sacred book somewhere. The probably my first king wrote. But, yeah. Okay. These guys mean nothing but trouble. <laughs> Sana has been converted to the iconoclast faith. Excellent. We are indeed pressing the Muslims back. Still have some Druze to get rid of, but and a bit of Muslim stuff up here. But I'm sure we can pull through that. All right, and finish the siege. There we are. Excellent. He's gregarious now. Balasha. She'll be a useful bargaining ship. So will she. So since I've pretty well already got one going to the Byzantine Empire, who else nearby would make a useful ally? Might actually be able to aid me. Whoa. God damn it. Alright, that's great. So, 9,600. I can't compete with that. Ah, fuck it. Hello, everyone, and sorry for a rage out that I just had. <sighs> God damn. 
Just, just had to take a quick break. You know, cool my head. Let's not see if I can't rally my troops. There might somehow still be hope. Okay, apparently he's walking away. That's a good sign. Hey. All right, get going. I guess that's why he left in such a rush. Is the Fatimid smelled the weakness of fighting with me and attacked him? I don't know. I mean, they've gone after Mesopotamia a couple times. I guess it makes enough sense. I will encourage him to be more paid. Damn it. I'm going to nominate my younger son, I think. And that's the advantage of elective monarchy. I can simply change who I vote for. Thankfully, only there are only two votes. And I believe he... So, I still automatically win, no matter what. <sighs> Alright. Town opinion or castle opinion? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Useful. Alright, I can just break that. I'll find her someone nice, I'm sure. Alright, so that's a good start. I guess so long as he's preoccupied there, then I can punch through and take Oman. And then maybe even take Hamadan's part of Oman. Just kind of control this part of the peninsula. Yeah, at least it's worth a shot. By two? Sure. He's both kind and wrathful. Lovely. Because <laughs> you know that makes a pile of sense. Alright. <clears throat> so I've gotten this part now. Oops, some rebels. Cynical, diligent, and deceitful. Diligent, lovely. I don't know, I might take a queen. Probably not the most popular decision, but oh well. Eh, when is taking on a queen ever a popular decision? I think the correct answer to that is never. Never ever. Uh, need a drink. Uh, much better. Uh, who can I get to to marry? Come on. Sure. There you go. Kind of late, but... Found to someone. Nice young Greek, Greek boy that you're not going to bear any children for because you're too old. But nevertheless will be useful in an alliance for the time being. I'm okay with that. <sighs> Let's 
sweet, sweet coffee. Need that to keep me going. Hmm. Drop just a little bit more. Boom. Okay, so that yeah, pretty much. All yeah, right, fine. Twenty sixth of August. Yeah. Looks like I need a new spy master. You, you'll be my new spy master. And I'm sure you'll be good. Drop all that levies. Eh, I'll drop the person levies too. Yeah, sure. Ah, boy. Okay. So, we've got these two new provinces coming in soon, I hope. The war is indecisive, yeah. He's become chaste. Perfect little kid. Alright. Raise person levies. Let them regenerate just a bit. Hamadan seems to be, like, massing troops on my border or something, so... I should go respond in proper kind. As the uh, war counter kick slowly ticks up. Alright. I guess we'll just build that for the hell of it. Don John. Don John. Keep. And one of those. Okay. <coughs> Still have piles of extra cash. Get a better training ground or something. I'm so generous to my barons. At least the ones that I don't lock up and imprison, at least. <laughs> hmm. The Caliph, I think, at this point, is probably able to raise at least 50,000 men, though. I can only raise one-fifth that. It's just never going to end well for me if I fight him. Research cultural tech. So my only hope is to try and tech up a bit and have, you know, the tech spread around here. He's proud now, okay. Alright, so we're getting up there. 72%. We can do this. Why am I leading? Makes no sense. There we go. Okay, random enough. But that means my vassals will provide me with every troop my heart could ever desire for this. Seriously. <laughs> Like, the plus 30 relations is so useful. Especially since I have maximum feudal levies, there's no max to the number they can provide. But that was just a silly move, eh, Teth? Smash them down, get a little more moral authority for my religion. I'm up to 55 and climbing. Once that's done, no, 56. Once this is done, 57. I'm trying to raise it. Sure, I'll gain 20 piety. I'm aiming for that, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh. Scholar, okay. So, um, join me in the next episode, I think, where uh, we finish this, kill them, and then I worry about the everyone else.
Okay, and once they're in... There we are. Jihad for Anatolia called off. Eh, figured as much. Crusade for Sicily. Attacking the Caliph, that's great. <clears throat> That is great. He is now my new court chaplain. Sure. Right, I was supposed to end the episode. I totally forgot. So, this is Calvin signing off.